John Stewart, who's the artist of, of many of the paintings you see around and out today, uh, he, uh, he approached us a number of weeks back uh, to see uh, about working together as an East Belfast artist with an East Belfast auction house, but with an auction house that has an appeal right across the province uh, and further afield than that too. Um, and John's been working tirelessly putting together the exhibition that we have for sale tomorrow evening, being Tuesday the 30th of August. Um, he's working tirelessly put together his work that would be synonymous with the Harden and Wolfship Yard uh, Titanic theme and a lot of the old areas right across East Belfast. As I say, John's synonymous with shipyard scenes and so forth, but when we look at some of them and look at some of the streets that would be synonymous off the Newton Arge Road, uh, we have old men or workers of the yard who have been chatting probably about the day's work or so forth. Um, or when you look at um, children playing on the old lamp swings, which I'm sure some people will remember playing on, um, with the cranes in the backyard, uh, back scenes, sorry, over the rooftops of some of those streets off the lower end of the Newton Arge Road. Some of the scenes are abstract, where you have the cranes not just visually present straight away, but where they have been blended into the scene that it represents, whether it be something like this here, um, that, you know, and the, the shadows of those, those cranes coming into the abstract part of the, the, the seascape there. You know, there's a fantastic one right behind uh, the camera here, as I'm talking now, where you have the shipyard, you have the old sheds, and you have hundreds of men, and what you see is the synonymous flat caps, which people used to see as the men came out of the shipyard or they were heading towards the shipyard, or some of the old double-decker buses there, um, with the men jumping on the double-decker buses heading down towards, towards the R2. And there's a nice scene there too where it shows the riveters um, of the ships, two riveters working away um, in, in one of the ships that the yard um, helped produce. John's been very good in sort of getting different eras into his paintings, whether it be the old style shipyard scenes and flat caps to some that are entitled across the lagoon, where we see the new Titanic quarter and the development of, and therefore it's nice to see some of the old paintings and then the transition into what is now being the Titanic quarter and so forth too. So there's a nice blend of the old and the new um, in John's painting, but Harlan and Wolf being very much the subject at heart right across the spectrum of his paintings. Yeah, it's quite appropriate that, that John, working on his exhibition, um, uh, which is now entitled uh, Cranes and Caps, uh, is, uh, and you can see why it's called Cranes and Caps, where it's, uh, it uh, titles the exhibition very, very well. Um, we would anticipate um, a lot of the paintings price ranging, sort of starting off at 70, 80 pounds for the smaller ones, right up until, I, mean, I know we do have a bid sitting on the book of 250 pounds on one of the larger ones. So there's a nice price range to suit all budgets. Well, someone who just wants to start collecting the John Stewart's, or someone who is an avid collector of John Stewart paintings, or someone who just wants to start collecting items relating to Titanic, Harland and Wolf, or the modern day Titanic quarter. But price range, as I say, from 70 pounds at the minimum, up till about 250 as we currently stand on the books. We've got two viewing days, one being today, Monday, from 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. this evening, and Tuesday from 10 o'clock until 6 o'clock, with the auction kicking off all of John's work starting circa 6.30 on Tuesday the 30th of August. Um, and get down and view while you can up until today at 7 o'clock or up until 6 o'clock tomorrow being Tuesday.